Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to implement Azure Event Hub. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. All right, I am logged on to the portal now. And if you have not heard about Event Hub, we use Event Hubs to connect sending and receiving application with Event Hub so we can handle extremely high loads without losing any data. So in this video, we will create an event hub using the Azure portal. We will configure the applications to send or receive messages through an event hub. And then we'll try to evaluate event hub performance using the Azure portal. So to enable or to implement event hub in the search bar, type in event hub. Here you go. Click on it. And create event hub namespace or click on add to add a new event hub namespace you click on add here it gives you an option to create a namespace so in the resource group you create a new resource group test test event hub lab or whatever you want to make it and you can you test event hub location you can select any location that you want i am going with the pricing tier of standard i'm going with the location as east us namespace already exists test a sir event hub I'm not sure. I'm sure it would not exist. Throughput units, I will do it to two. I click on next. I click on, I leave it as default. I don't make any changes. I click on review, validating my options that I have entered. Take few seconds, couple of seconds maybe. All right, I click on create. So till the time this namespace is getting created, I'm going to create a storage account for the later use. So I open up another portal window. I log on to my Azure portal again. All right, I'm going to create a resource and it would be a storage account. We, we need a storage account and a blob store container to store events that will be sent to the event hub uh, when we do the lab. So you click on uh, storage here. Here it is, storage account. And in the storage account, I will uh, select, I will create this storage account in the same resource group that I created in the last step you can add storage account name uh, test user storage all right it would be in the east us location i would go with the standard performance i would go with general purpose v2 the ground kind replication i would go with the locally redundant storage if you're not sure what i mean you should see or learn or read about the Azure storage on the Microsoft documentation. Access tier, I'm going to go with hot. I'm going to leave everything as default. Tags, review, create. And I'm going to click on create. So now in the back end, my two deployments are running one for the event hub or the hub namespace. Second one is for the creation of storage account. So I'm going to go back and create a new event hub. I'm going to go back to my previous window. The deployment is completed. I'm going to go to my resource. It says test user event hub. I'm going to click on here event hub. and events i would scroll to on under the capture option 
This will turn on the dumping of the events to the blob store we created earlier. So it says that uh, do not emit empty files when no events occur during the capture time window. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to storage account. I'm going to select the container. Test as a storage. I'm going to make a container here. I'm going to go with container one. I click on create and I select this container. Right, so I have selected this container. Everything else remains default. I will click on create. I have created an event hub within my event hub namespace. Now our job is to collect data to be able to send events to this event hub. So under event hub namespace, click on shared access policies under here, under the settings. It says a root manage shared access key. Click on it. And uh, now click the copy to clipboard icon next to the primary key. Like this. You will have to open up the notepad. Paste it. Minimize this. So my event hub namespace is this. I'm going to copy paste this as well. And my event hub, if you remember, I, would, I selected the name as events. I'm sorry, I forgot it for a few seconds. Okay, so now I have noted it down. Now I will download the script files that will be used to create some events to be sent to the event hub. So this is, I'm just downloading these script files to just to simulate the event hub receiving data from an application in the environment that has been written to communicate with event hub. Or you can have any other applications that you write that would send the events to the existing event hub inside the event hub namespace. So I will open up the PowerShell. Run as administrator. Once this is open, I'm going to run the command. All right, install dash script get blob events, comma space send blob events. Click on Y. It will place the script inside this. I'm going to go with yes to all. Install two scripts and it will help me to stimulate the environment to get and send data to my blob, uh, to my event hubs running perfectly fine. All right. So now I'm going to send some events to the event hub. I would send blob events. Now I'll place the primary key here. I don't know why it is not running. I'm not able to copy paste today on the PowerShell. Let me just open uh, the integrated script editor, PowerShell ISC, and check if I'm able to do that on that. Okay, so here it is. Okay.
okay so I'm gonna do send dash blob event there okay it is asking me for the primary key event hub namespace this is my event hub namespace now you see the why did I copied everything now event hub is my events number of events I mean it's it entirely your decision you want to do it I'm gonna score with 10 okay so it is sending those events to the event hub namespace okay it's going good so now uh, we see that we have re received a series of like temperature 92 now if you receive a series uh, 401 unauthorized errors from the script check the clock on the machine you have executed the code if you're using a virtual machine it should be set to UTC okay now let's review the events in the event hub and blob storage I'm gonna go back to my portal here it is and this is my event hub namespace and inside that I have events event hubs this is my event I'm sorry about the previous one now if you would see uh, the events here give me one minute right now you see the graph here this is the one the request that we sent to simulate the environment here you see the time a few minutes back uh, we ran those scripts now if you would go to your storage account that you created and you go to your containers in the storage account here's your container one this is your test folder this is your event this is 2020 in the month of August today's date and the series of events and now if you download this file you have to install the Evro uh, the application to install it and now if you will see go on to the PowerShell and if you would run get blob events here so it is asking me for the blob name so it was container one oh, sorry so I had to give wait a sec so if I run get blob events blob name is my storage account name so my storage account name is test assert storage so when it asks you for the blob name it means the storage account now it is asking for the container name so my container name is container one specified resource does not exist the, the data is not executed yet but this is how you can uh, check the PowerShell and uh, use your storage account and implement the event hub namespace in the Azure portal so I hope this was informative to all of you guys if you have any queries please uh, mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day